Today, let's see the difference between map and map object. Map will be used to loop through an array. So let's take an array, 6, 7, 9, 10, 3. So this is an array. So we have a map option, right? We don't have map object if you observe. So we have a map option because the left side payload is an array. So we use map to traverse through an array. In map, you have two options. You have item, you have index, right? Let's see what is a index and item is. Item represents each item in an array and index if you want to get the index because here index is there, right? Item we are getting. If you want to get the index, you have to wrap it inside the parenthesis. Now you can see the index uh, with the respective value. In zero index, we have six. In one, we have seven, so on, right? Let's assume you, uh, now you, you understood, right? We are getting the index and the item. So let's assume you want to look through the items and multiply with four. We're getting the multiplied values. If you want to, uh, okay, multiply. Okay, now let's assume you want to multiply uh, the items and then return the multiplied values in an array, right? In that case, you can pick the multiplied values. Now we are looping through an array, multiplying it with four and returning the array, right? There is one more uh, way to do it. Now we, we have an uh, parameters and everything, right? Let's remove all this. Let's remove this also. And item will be represented by dollar. You can see dollar is already representing the array items. Each item will be multiplied by four. And for index, you will you can use dollar. You can see you are already getting this option. It represents a number. With this way also, without a parameters list, you can uh, uh, use uh, the dollar symbol to represent the item or index. Yeah, here we have only we had the option of only the item and the index, right? This represents an index and dollar represents an item. Yeah, this is how you can use map to look through an array. Let's take one more payload as an example. We have an array of employees and each employee is representing a lot of details. Employee ID, version, first name, last name. We have so many information, right? Let's assume you want to look through these items and return only the name and age of the employee, right? We already getting the payload and map. You're not getting map object because this is just an array. And in this also, you can again uh, see what is the index and sorry item in that particular index. In zeroth index we have this and first index is uh, employee two and so on. Right? Let's assume we want to return the name of the employee. Now we are uh, looping through the item. Item is represented by this value, right? Item represents this in the first iteration, right? Let's get the first name. Sorry. The first name then cut concatenate it with the last name right item dot last name and then get the age also item dot age if you want to get the, the index also you can get it in which iteration you got what right comma yeah in zeroth index employee one employee two and employee three so on Right? You are getting array of employees with the necessary information. This is how you can use map to loop through the items of an array. Right? Uh, in uh, you have two options. You will have item. You you will have index also for your mapping. Right? Now let's see how to use a map object and where will we use a map object? Okay, I already have a payload loaded here. Let's see. In the payload, I have an object. We have car and uh, with respect to car, we have item array of items. With, for us, we have array of items. For odd also, we have array of items. So this is a object. This is not an array, right? Payload. Payload will have uh, the objects now. So now let's see how to traverse through these objects, right? If you check for map, you are not getting the map function. You are getting the map object, right? In map object, you have three options: value, key, and index. Let's see what value, key, and index means this let's take key and index key is uh, whatever we have uh, the left side this is a key this is value this uh, this is a index this car item present at index zero it is index one so on. car is at zero index bus one out of two right if you if you use index here 
and value here, you can see what value means. In zeroth index, we have this value. Value is this much, right? We don't have car because car is a key. This array of items is a value. So in zeroth index, we have this array. In one index, we have this array. So now we have got, right, what is key, value and index. Index represents the index of the item. This is a key, car is a key, and the array of items is a value, right? Now let's assume uh, you want to traverse through these objects and uh, get the category, year of manufacture, and so on together, right? Let's remove this and get the category of item. Category of item is key, right? Car is a category. And if you want the brand, where is the brand? Where is brand present? Brand presents in a value, right? This is value. So we have to use value dot brand. Use here. Here also is present in. Since we are traversing through uh, array, it uh, the value dot brand will give you the items in an array format only. You are getting the necessary information. You are uh, traversing through the object and getting the information, right? So this is how you can traverse through each, each item. So let's, if you don't want here, you can remove. If you want the type, then you can add it, right? If you observe, it's a car, it's a brand, it's a bus category and with brand information, so on. This is how you use a map object. In map object, you will have three options, value, key, and index. Right. If you observe in map, you will have only item and index. Item represents is index is zero. Here you have value, key, and index. You have key extra here because at the left side we have a key and with uh, the respective value, key, value, and the index. There we don't have anything left side, so we have only item and index. That's the difference between map and map object. Map will be used to traverse through an uh, array. For example, now if you if you take car. Our value is an array, right? So you must get map. You are getting map uh, option, right? You are getting map function. You are not getting map object because the value of car is in the form of array, right? That's why you are getting a map option. You can now um, you can get the brand here as well. Brand and item dot brand. Yeah, in car you have a two brands right you can pick the brand here now this way you can get the brands for uh, cars yeah this is how you can traverse through the array and also the object when you want to traverse through objects you will use map objects and for array you will use map yeah that's all is the difference thank you